Sitting proud on the shores of Torch Lake is Dockside Restaurant. And this northern Michigan staple is cooking up those summer beach classics, but of course, they aren't without some unique twists. London 10's Jenny Bushell has more details tonight as she takes you inside the kitchen. It's a restaurant that brings in the hungry by the boatful. We say by land or by sea, so we have all kinds of clientele. And so they pull up, we can dock 23 boats at a time. And if you're spending the day on Torch Lake, good grub is necessary for keeping happy boaters. This is beach food. From the infamous sandbar to the cheesy fried pickles, it's not summertime in northern Michigan without a trip to the dockside. And this week, we're taking you inside the kitchen. You don't understand until you come get it. Owner Gordy Schaefer turned the century-old building into a full-functioning restaurant on Torch Lake. The lake is 18 miles long, and we're at the five-mile point. And one of our sayings is, come share a sunset with us, because it's just gorgeous sunsets all the time here. And while you're checking out the view, you'll want to munch on this, the pulled pork burrito. Chef Melissa Long starts the process a day before. And what we do is we make a brine of uh, water, salt, and liquid smoke, and then it gets sit in there overnight. And then we put it in our alto sham and slow bake it. The pork is shredded by hand every day, left nice and chunky to hold up the fire roasted sauce. So now we're going to use the emulsifier and blend our sauce together. Um, we want it thin with no chunks. There'll be a little bit of garlic, but who doesn't like garlic? Pork is piled onto a tortilla with roasted corn, black bean salsa, and cheese, then rolled up and topped with sauce. And a little more cheese. Normally tools it requires. Yes. Do people normally finish this? I don't think they ever do. <laughs> we'll see what kind of damage we can do here. And the damage continues with the fish tacos. First, perch is lightly dry battered and then fried for a thin, crispy bite. Topping the fish is the Asian slaw. It's a combo of fresh vegetables, herbs, and sesame dressing. Okay, now we're going to start our homemade aioli. Wasabi powder, soy sauce, sesame oil, garlic, and cilantro all go into the aioli. It's mixed with mayonnaise and then tops the taco. Right. Oh, yeah. And last but not least, the food that's earned itself a loyal following, the fried pickle. We start with an egg roll wrap, and then we have a thin piece of sliced ham and some uh, Swiss cheese. Then we take our pickles and we cut the ends off so they don't poke through. It's rolled up and deep fried, then comes out crispy, gooey, and perfectly salty. That is just good salty fried cheese right there. So whether you're craving Asian fusion, barbecue, or a quick appetizer on the water, there's something for everyone at the dockside. It's a family place. It's everybody's place. If you look on, on our on our boards and our ceiling tiles. It's, it's everybody's place on the lake, and it's kind of like Switzerland. People of all political views and whatever they're thinking it right here, they're just friends on the lake. It's pretty nice. Reporting inside the kitchen, I'm Jenny Bouchelle.